Dear brothers and sisters, today, we gather to explore the profound and transformative power of gratitude. In a world often filled with challenges and uncertainties, fostering a spirit of thanksgiving becomes a source of strength, joy, and resilience. Let us embark on this journey together, discovering the beauty of grateful hearts. Psalm 104. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Gratitude is more than a fleeting emotion. It is a deliberate acknowledgement of God's goodness. As we enter his presence with thanksgiving, we open our hearts to the recognition of his abundant blessings. First Thessalonians 5, 16, 8. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude is a choice that transcends circumstances. In the face of challenges, we are called to rejoice, pray, and give thanks. This choice empowers us to find joy, even amidst the trials, trusting in God's sovereign plan. 2 Corinthians 9.11 You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion, and through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Gratitude has a ripple effect, enriching our lives and enabling us to bless others generously. As we express gratitude, we become conduits of God's love, sparking a chain reaction of thanksgiving that glorifies Him. Romans 8.28 and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Even in adversity, gratitude emerges as a powerful force. Trusting in God's purpose, we can express gratitude for His unwavering presence and the assurance that He works all things for the good of those who love Him. Colossians 3.17 And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him, cultivating a grateful heart involves daily practices. In our words and deeds, we are called to do everything in the name of the Lord, expressing thanks to God the Father through the transformative power of Christ. Philippians 4, 11, 13. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Gratitude is intertwined with contentment. Like the Apostle Paul, we can learn the secret of being content in every situation, recognizing God's provision and expressing gratitude for His faithfulness. Ephesians 4, 2, 3. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Gratitude has the power to strengthen our relationships. As we express thankfulness for the people in our lives, we cultivate humility, gentleness, and patience. Gratitude becomes a binding force that fosters unity and peace in our interactions with others. Psalm 69.30 I will praise God's name in song and glorify Him with thanksgiving. Our worship becomes a profound expression of gratitude. As we lift our voices in song and glorify God with thanksgiving, we magnify His glory. Gratitude is a key element in our worship, connecting our hearts to the splendor of His presence. Psalm 147.3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. In moments of grief and pain, Gratitude serves as a healing balm. Acknowledging God's healing power, we express thanks for His comforting presence. Gratitude becomes a pathway to restoration, allowing us to experience the divine healing that flows from the heart of our compassionate Creator. Psalm 103.24 Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all His benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Our ultimate gratitude is for the salvation offered through Jesus Christ. As we remember God's benefits, forgiveness, healing, redemption, love, and compassion, we rejoice in the profound gift of salvation. Gratitude becomes a response to the immeasurable love of our Savior. Romans 5, 3, 4. And not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance character, and character hope. Even in the face of adversity, gratitude becomes a source of strength. When we embrace gratitude during challenging times, we unlock the transformative power of suffering. It leads to perseverance, builds character, and ultimately fosters a resilient hope that transcends difficulties. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. Expressing gratitude for God's guidance involves trusting His perfect plan. As we acknowledge His wisdom and sovereignty, gratitude becomes a form of surrender. It opens our hearts to submit to His will, allowing God to lead us on straight paths, even when we cannot fully comprehend the journey. 1 Thessalonians 5.16a Rejoice always, pray continually, 
give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude is not just a momentary expression, but a lifestyle. The scriptures encourage us to rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. This daily practice of gratitude transforms our perspective, making us more attuned to the blessings that abound in every season of life. 2 Corinthians 9.11 You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion, and through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Gratitude goes hand in hand with generosity. As we recognize the abundant blessings bestowed upon us, gratitude compels us to share with others. Our generosity becomes a testimony to God's goodness, prompting thanksgiving to overflow, not only in our hearts, but in the hearts of those we bless. Philippians 4, 11, 12. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Gratitude fosters contentment in every circumstance. As the Apostle Paul shares, the secret of contentment is learned through gratitude. Whether in abundance or lack, gratitude allows us to find joy in God's provision and trust in His perfect timing. Dear beloved, may the richness of gratitude continue to unfold in the tapestry of your lives. From facing adversity to embracing God's guidance, from cultivating daily thankfulness to sharing blessings generously, and from finding contentment to rejoicing in every circumstance, may your journey of gratitude be a testament to the transformative power of God's love. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit accompany you on this abundant journey of living a life filled with gratitude. Amen.